Early voting for the primary election starts one week from today and in Guilford County there are billions of dollars on the table and the chance of a slight tax increase. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Katie Nordine and I'm Michael Hennessy and we are talking very slight here and Fox 8's Jordan Brown joins us now to give us a breakdown of what exactly is on that ballot. Jordan. Well, guys, this is a copy of a sample ballot, and on it is $1.7 billion. Now, all that money would go to Guilford County Schools if this referendum is passed. Also on the ballot is a local sales and use tax increase. Now, don't worry, it's just a fraction of a penny, but all of the money from that sales tax increase would go toward paying off that $1.7 billion debt. Another plus is that anyone who visits Guilford County and spends money here would be going toward that going toward that tax as well. We need to, to solve this problem now. Guilford County Commission Chair Skip Alston says the future of Guilford County schools depends on your vote. This is the time that we need to step up and do what is right for our schools, our teachers, and our children for generations yet unborn. Alston, along with Guilford County Schools officials, are hoping the bond referendum passes to get the remainder of a $2 billion package to schools in need across Guilford County. $300 million of that money was approved back in 2020. That first phase is used to support eight construction projects, and those are right on track. Construction begins this summer. Um, but the 2022 school bond is actually phase two, and during that bond, um, 34 schools across the county will be renovated, rebuilt, and constructed. These renovations are long overdue. Alston has seen the damage for himself. Since December, he's been touring Guilford County Schools weekly. Not all of what he's seen has been pleasant. Electrical problems, ceiling problems, leaking roof, heat's not working, air conditioning not working, and the list goes on. Some may ask, how will the county pay back this enormous debt? There's a proposed solution for that, too. The ballot includes a proposal for the slight increase, the 0.25% or the fraction of a penny in the county sales and use tax rate. And that sales and use tax would spread out the cost of repaying the bond beyond just property owners. So what happens if the bond referendum passes? Construction on new school buildings continues, 34 schools get gutted and renovated, and every school in the county gets much needed technology upgrades. Things like making sure that, that cameras work, uh, making sure that heating and air units work. The longer we wait in order to address this problem, the more it's going to cost. Now, just a few dates you want to be aware of. You have until 5 p.m. tomorrow, April 22nd, to register to vote. Early voting starts a week from today, Thursday, April 28th. It ends on May 14th. May 17th is Election Day when everyone will vote. We're live in High Point. Jordan Brown, Fox 8 News.